ladies, gents, and my non-binary friends. Today we're doing something a little different. I will be making Perlers, and you will be playing Who's That Pokemon? I selected all of these uh, from Generation 6, and they were chosen through a combination of requirements. Who's That Pokemon? Well, do you know it? It's Chespin! He's just a little guy. So, like I was saying, I selected these based off of uh, what I thought was iconic to the generation. I made sure to uh, include a variety of colors uh, and also just uh, Pokemon that I liked. That was uh, probably the biggest requirement, although a third requirement or fifth? Whatever. Another requirement is that they, of course, fit on this grid and therefore the final display. As you can see, we have a criminal among us and she will be back to commit more and worse crimes. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, I think this one's pretty obvious. She's Gumi. Uh, she's just a little blob. I love her. Or him. It. Does a goo ball have a gender? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, one of my favorite things about making these displays is that they're just so relaxing. Um, <laughs> back in the day, when I was in college, grad school, whatever, I used to color in coloring books, and now I make perlers of Pokemon. I get kind of a double dosage of relaxation. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, this one is Amara. I selected this one because I thought she's pretty. Uh, like I was saying, I used to call her in books. Super chill. Love it. Now I make perlers and I get a dose of art relaxation slash paint by numbers kind of, as well as that sweet, sweet nostalgia of Pokemon. Although I didn't really play or watch Gen 6 very much, but that doesn't mean I don't love some of the Pokemon. Uh, I will say that 70% of the Pokemon in this video I didn't even realize came from this generation, so... Who's that Pokemon? This sec looks a lot like Nidoran male, uh, but it's not. It's Finnekin! Our little psychic baby. Uh, to be psychic. Finnekin is probably one of the cutest starters. Uh, aside from, of course, Sprigatito, I simply cannot resist a cute kitty cat. What can I say? I'm easy to please. Uh, this is a great hobby, and I would recommend it to anyone. Uh, all it takes are some little plastic sheets here, an iron, wax paper, and of course, some beads, which I recommend uh, be of the same Who's brand. That Pokemon? It's Fletchling, the Pidgey of this generation, but spicy. Like I was saying, uh, <laughs> they all need to be of the same brand. I use Perler. I think it's a little more expensive, but they have more colors and, in my opinion, melt the best. Uh, if you don't have all the same brand, they will not melt the same at the same rate or heat. Uh, and, oh, criminal behavior. And 
then you will have a very strange looking uh, final product. Who's that this one I think should be obvious. Uh, it's Honedge! Uh, I'll admit, when I first saw this, I thought it was kind of dumb. And then I realized it's a floating sword. It's basically a spiritual weapon uh which is freaking awesome <laughs> now that i think about it even more i'm gonna use that as my future spiritual weapon whenever i next play a cleric my current cleric that i've had for a year just died right near the end of curse of strahd uh so that's fun I s can't be too mad though. My DM. Who's that Pokemon? This one's a starter. Should be easy. And it's Froki! My husband's spirit animal. He loves frogs. Uh, yeah. My husband's my DM, so. And I think he actually feels bad. Also, Curse of Strahd is difficult. Honestly, it's amazing she made it this far. She's been saved so many times by other people. I'm going way off topic here. And I'll discuss this more in my upcoming video where I paint a flesh golem. Anyways, I love Froki. He's just a little guy and he evolves into a ninja, which is really cool. Uh, after this video, I'd like you all to post in the comments how many did you get? Uh, Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Just kidding. It's Pancham. Our tiny little boxing panda. Y'all should post in the comments how many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? And honestly, how many did you get before I even completed the full outline? I'm genuinely curious because I probably wouldn't have gotten any of these except for Hone Edge. Uh, and I definitely would have thought that Finnegan was a uh, male Nidoran that just somehow migrated over to Generation 6. So y'all let me know. What Who's that Pokemon? It's Skiddo! I'll admit to not liking this Pokemon very much, but I thought it was iconic and uh, deserved to be on the display. Mostly I don't like it because I just don't like the evolution. Go Goat is a bad name and Admittedly, Skiddo is adorable. I can't deny that, but Go Goat is no. No goat. No, no go, go, goat. Fuck. <laughs> uh, here's the criminal again. Her name is Saluna. And she's a baby. She's about five months old. Here's the final display. They all look better from a little further away. And. It's all ready to go up on my wall of Pokemon Pearlers. I have nine Pokemon for each generation, uh, one through six. At some point, I'd love to do the uh, generation seven through nine as well. Uh, if you have any ideas for what Pokemon should be included in those, and if you would like to watch me make another time-lapse video in the future, please let me know in the comments. I really enjoyed making this and kind of clicker trained myself for each perler bead with my little photo clicker like a cat. I don't know, I get weird satisfaction from it now. Um, anyways, uh, please like, subscribe, all that stuff, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.